Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be driving to Lubbock and then to Midland. You're going to see some more footage of Preacher Bills and what we bought. Here's a small sneak peek over here of what we bought, but overall a great trip. Um, come along with us. We hope you enjoy. Pop a squat and I guess start digging. Give me that. Do you want me to put this back in there or do you want to? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to do that too if you want. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it look good. Put it on top. And then we got this. This is the scrap one. Bang. Yeah. <laughs> you got your soup spoon. You got a torture device. Uh, I don't know what that, that is. Was actually, like a ladle or something like that. Well, believe it or not, they used to cut their tomatoes and they tomato serving. Oh, wow. Fancy. When tomatoes were tomatoes, I guess. <laughs> Probably fried tomatoes. Yeah. Fried tomatoes. Salad, Salad pork and dinner fork. Salad pork and dinner fork. Anything cool coming in the shop recently? Just I know that it's probably sold, but it's just fun uh, stuff. Fun stuff to show people, I guess. Yeah. What? You sold it? No, I didn't sell it. Do I? Yeah. Is it this box? No, I'll take it out. No, no, uh, it's just something that was neat that we got. But uh, I actually don't agree with Tank Grant on that. Bill's giving. He's being too generous on it because of the the, the rim damage on the back. I just can't call it uh, a, a that great. How'd you guys come across this one? Just uh, came in the shop? Uh, yeah, Bill bought it a couple of weeks, uh, about a week ago. Well, that's not bad, brother. Wow. Congratulations. That is a cool one. I like that. Dang, yeah. Be cool just to, you know, put in a little penny roll, you know? Yeah. One day when we're all uh, making the big bucks, right? Yeah. So, for this week's giveaway, it's going to be uh, two odd items. I guess not odd, but we'll see. The first item is going to be a 2018 Silver Cougar in. And then this is a throw in. They had a cool coin that they made, Space Invaders. Coin went in here, goes like this. We don't have the coin anymore. It was graded and we sold it. So we just thought we'd throw this in as something cool that somebody can keep for another coin. Thank you guys for watching today's video. We appreciate it. Uh, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, comment what your thoughts are on the video. If you guys also enjoy the videos, please subscribe and like. We will be uh, coming out with more content next week. And we're going to try keeping it as interesting as this week. Mackenzie, you mind if I pull a few out real quick? Um, it's going to be the 93cc in fine details, yep. Um, and it's going to be this 83S in uh, AU55 and the 24S in, uh, that should be right at the back. Wonderful. Thank you, Kenzie. I appreciate it. Good to see you, yeah. How you been? Like, pretty good. Cool pretty good. You don't need a backdrop? <laughs> nah, it's great. It's wonderful. People love the coin shop feel and look and everything, so it's not too bad, you know. How's 3D printing going? Good? Yeah, going wild. I took a break from silver casting to work on a, like a game 3D model to okay. get that working. And I finished it, so now I'm going to go back to pouring my silver, which I've been abandoning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to keep it all on track, I'm sure. What y'all been up to? Living the dream, I guess. I don't know. Little plates too. Yeah. Uh, Did y'all uh, do a lot of porn? Uh, graded or raw or? I could look at them. I mean, if it makes sense. Huh. And, what? 
the proof like ish look to it. But 93cc makes sense. They're probably going to give me 10% back of that. So, good coin. Let's check the 83S. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to gray sheet. Then you're going to tap search. And you're going to do 71. 48. And why do we do that? Because the first four numbers on this slab, 7148. So, then you tap on 83S and six in, uh, in the sheet, go to 55, bid is 340 as they wrote on the slab. And, you know, they seem to be selling for above bid, so if we get a discount on this one, I think it'd be fair. And when you're taking a look at this coin, it's it's white. It's a nice white looking coin and people like that a lot. I feel like it's actually wholesome as well so don't think it's been cleaned too much. And let's look at this 24S. So you can see that it has like a darkish color to it. But we'll see how it goes. San Francisco men stuff people really like so once again we're going to use that number 7364 so 7364 you can also check eBay too so you have two forms of verification so the past few have sold for Bid is 350. The we'll past few have sold for 336, 336, 312. And this one's not that attractive. What we're going to do is do the same thing 7364. And we're going to check eBay comps. eBay is good for these as well. So, it's something that you might be able to sell on eBay via auction. So, I think we could try it if we get 10% back of this number at 315. And see what else there is here. It's a cool coin. I have to look into this. It's a neat rarity, probably. And sometimes you like to take a risk and try it out. So, the best way to look up kind of foreign coins is heritage auctions. A lot of these, you know, back in the day, 2010, 2011. Selling 275 to 300, some for 500, some for 220, but that's mint state 61. So, and most of the time you're looking at eye appeal. Sometimes, most of these are super dark, as you can see. And this one has a nice flashy white to it, so that might demand more of a premium as well. So, definitely pretty cool. And it's cool to own something that's mint state from 1697 as well. Oh, yeah, now I need to check eBay. So I checked online. One just sold for 375 in 63, and one sold for 450 in 64. Mm. So something that's good for you guys to look up whenever you uh, buy stuff. They, someone has one listed on eBay for 350, so it's probably not worth. Uh, you probably better for a retail customer. So. There's no... 405 would be the absolute best I'd do, yeah. Yeah, it's a good coin. I mean, it's probably the flashiest white one, but it's just I don't have any margin, unfortunately. But Yeah. It was a, just one of those cool ones. It's a, like... You gotta look and show Most off. of them are really dark and ugly, so that one's really nice. Should demand a premium. Find anything yet, Casey? What are you kind of hunting for, just uh, so people know? Just name brand... Uh jewelry companies that sell well on eBay. So if you can find one and then uh, sell it for significantly more, then you get a slight premium. So when you go to a lot of shops, you actually get to tell and look what stuff have you seen recently and what stuff is new or old. And so... So that Brant looks pretty good. It's it's graded AU details. And what we can do with most details coins, the best is going to be eBay. So we're going to type in 1922 Grant. 
And then half dollar. AU details. Let's see what they sell for. So we have one in AUBU details already up, and someone's bid on it for a hundred bucks. And they sell for about a hundred bucks. So not really any money if you subtract ten percent and you have to ship it, so it's still a good coin. I love this stuff. This right here is pretty cool because this is a twenty dollar gold dust. Oh. So at one point in time, you could have traded that for these. Gold trays looking thin. These are St. John's. Other cool rounds down here. Sometimes they have neat stuff out in this tray, mainly jewelry. But they have some Navajo stuff. Do you mind pulling this out for me, Kenzie? It's that New Rochelle in 66 star. It's going to be this one just right there. Cool. Do you mind if I just bring it over there and add it to my stack? Go ahead. Cool. I like asking, so. Thanks so much. Well, I always tell people, uh, don't just buy silver and gold. I mean, you can do it. Hey, I got some cheats over here. Oh yeah, you want to show the vlog? What's so cool about the Chiefs? You gotta, you gotta lay it out. Uh, I don't really actually know much about the Chiefs to be honest. Do you know anything about twenty dollar gold, uh, gold notes? Oh my God, I can tell you all about those. I hate that we did not keep it where we could switch our currency for gold and silver. As soon as they did that, that's when they started really mass producing the currency, which is why we have these as well. That's the start of inflation. Yeah, 100%. you mean when everyone's uh, everyone's bleeding money? You mean they were like, the we ran out of five, so we printed more, <laughs> and we made them red to let them know it was reprinted. Then they were like, no one cared. Yeah, and they'll keep printing it and keep printing it until it had no value. Well, it has a value, but not like it used to. Yeah, it's kind of just paper, you know. The yeah. twenty dollar gold piece, that right there, the twenty dollar note, is only about one hundred and eighty. Twenty dollar gold piece right now would be valued at about uh, twenty-seven fifty. Oh, yeah, it's just uh, incredible. Are there any of these newer, or the ones that have come in the the shop recently? Uh, these three right here are new. Actually, I think they're all new. We bought it as a group. Yeah, because I remember seeing some Chiefs when I came in here last, but uh, best we owned was a sixty-six. And I asked Bill, I was like, "How much?" Throwing you that for? back. Well, I said, "How much you want for?" He goes. You can make me payments. I was like, oh, never mind. Yeah. As soon as he said that, I was like... You could sell your kidney, and uh, that might cover half or something, you know? And he had a really nice bison that was uh, 62 mm -hmm. in that collection. Are they all the same uh, Freebird number? FR-281, just out of curiosity? Mm. I don't know enough about notes. 281, 281, and 275. Oh, wow, fancy. And is all that... How far above bid is that on most of those? Because they're so tough uh, to run if into. If I was to look at, I'm gonna assume right here on these at a very fine twenty. I want to say seven twenty-five is a bid, give or take. Yeah, it's just they demand such a premium, right? So it is. Bill said that he even paid strong on it because he knows that they're just drying up and that people are willing to spend uh, the money on them. Just more demand, you know. Than uh, so, yeah, supply and demand. What we can do here is we type in the Freebird number of two seventy-five in the bid, and then. Bid's kind of irrelevant for most paper because they don't keep up on it. This one's graded VF20. And then you tab VF20 bid. What's it showing? Uh, 650. Ooh. But the, you know, the last comps they have on record is 2020 and all that because they're just, most of it's hard to. It's, it's harder to move right now. Yeah, so what you do then is you go to eBay and then 1899, $5 chief. Garrett's selling today. That's all I know. He's pulling out all the big, all the big guns. People need to come in here and uh, and buy them notes. Actually, what's funny is I think this is one of the ones that's one of the better deals still. The thousands and five hundreds. No, no, that ten dollar silver. I love them when they're pristine like that. Nice and crispy. Yeah. You know? To be honest, I kind of love this one. Who knew? Have you guys sent anything off to PCGS or anything recently? Um, actually, after Bill that raw deal, sent a few coins off, didn't he? 
if I come in on the right day in the next six months, I might get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, depending on where you send it. Right. You may have annexed it to get it done real quick. Yeah, sometimes that's better, you know. Just to see. Yeah, that's not. So, see, like you look them up, they sell for, they sell for nine fifty. And that's kind of what we got it for, huh? Yeah, so that's good. You well, get that. To be fair. You got that marked. So. Actually, I'd go to nine twenty five. I gotta beat them. I don't like to be beat. Yeah, yeah. So, if anyone's looking for one, you you gotta come in. Can I look at the lower grade, yeah. uh, chief? Just to. Bid on that one's probably closer to five, maybe even four fifty. Yeah, it's still good to check because somebody getting into it, they, uh, you know. So, I got so, one over here, I so this is most of these, you know, VF, VF30, VF25, VF25. You know, they sell probably for about five, six hundred, sometimes seven hundred for a low ball. You know, this one sold for. 615 and fine 15 different freebird number but good coin, good things to have in, in your shop if you're ever gonna open up a shop or uh, want to offer it to somebody I don't know what do we got here brother this is a call eight real isn't it eight real fill up the third Peruvian mint huh like a weird old auction sticker yeah, in there or that's something that's how I liked it I didn't want to take it out to see Oh, he taped it in there. Don't want to pull that out for, uh, nope. you know. That Tosha. It's from that Tosha shipwreck, too. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty shipwrecked. cool. Probably and, don't run into a ton of those. Yeah, being shipwrecked, it didn't get a lot of the saltwater damage either, which is actually very unusual. What do you have to say about this uh, pillar dollar? Uh, also an 8 real. Very, very nice. Uh, it's been cleaned a little, it looks like. Decent details, not shipwrecked this one. Most of them are highly damaged at this point. Yeah, hard to find wholesome ones these days. Yeah, yeah Shield's still got the Lion's Paw extended too. I like the ones that have chop marks a lot myself. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You'll see which ports they went into. This one, if I had to give it a grade, it's easily an extra fine. But I also think it's been cleaned, which would knock it down to probably a very fine. Yeah, probably half or something. Yeah. What's something like this worth? Off, um, off if I had to guesstimate right now, uh, 350 to about 500. Well, that's depending pretty cool. Depending on uh, if that's real good damage I'm seeing or if it's just toning, which I think it might be. Got a little silver, Avery, numismatics, go more numismatics, the, the best of the numismatics. Um, really pretty cool. What is it, Derek? Uh, 1890 CC, mid state 63, proof like. One time I was at the right seat. Blazer. It's every, yeah, he calls it a blazer, doesn't he? You bought some James Avery? Yeah, a few pieces. Oh, a few, huh? I'm gonna show them off real quick. I guess you pick up the. And so these guys have. I discovered on Monday, I discovered the one. Questions, everybody's name. I'm gonna look at the that's neat. What does that cost you for that whole box? $689. Oh, cool. And, uh, you know, if you look up any of these pieces at the actual James Avery website, some of these will be going for some crazy amounts. I mean, like, you know, some of the ones with little gold pieces, they'll ask 300 400 just for that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Now, Scott. Bill has bought a lot of stuff while he was out of town. Uh, but he will not be back in here in time for y'all to see it sadly. But if I get anything cool, I'll shoot y'all some pictures. All right, sounds good, brother. All right. So, all right, guys. So we just got home from Preacher Bills, and we want to talk to you guys and break down kind of what we pay for things and what things sell for for us. And um, sometimes it's good to get a perspective on everything that we try to do, just to see if you guys can replicate it or try it where you guys live. So. We're going to first address the jewelry. So the jewelry, Casey bought for $689, all those pieces. Uh, we have our sister who likes to post James Avery, knows a lot about James Avery. The ring I'm going to show you right now is a ring that sold for about $650 online. It, it's been cleaned up. It's got uh, a bag and all that stuff and the box and everything, which can be easily replaced. But um, that one ring is $650. You know, I think that will cover most of the deal, and then the rest is just fluff on top for us which is great 
Um, then we also got three Liberty five ounce bars. I saw that they were in their bullion case when I walked by. I looked those up and some that are not tarnished or toned were selling for $225. And then there's the one by itself, which is a little bit more elongated. That one sold for about $325 on eBay. So I just posted those for the same price the other one sold for and we'll see what happens. I think we paid a dollar over spot, which was like $163 a piece for those five ounce bars, which is not too bad. And then towards the end, I kind of asked them, hey, do you want to uh, sell us some more kind of wholesale-y stuff? So we actually can go to shops, know what wholesalers pay, and then try to cherry pick from someone's inventory so we can send stuff to wholesalers. So here's a few uh, different varieties of things that we bought. Uh, we bought MS-62, 63, and 64 Morgan dollars. These are actually just commodity items for a lot of wholesalers. They're looking for them and they give buy prices for them as well. For the 62s, uh, actually we paid $40 for the 62s, 50 for the 63s, and 60 for the 64s. I think we ended up buying four rolls of Morgan dollars. I'm not sure exactly which grades that they were. I know one's a 64, probably two 62s and 163. And I think uh, once we ship them, we probably can make anywhere between $5 a coin to $8 a coin to a wholesaler. So we just bought these and said, hey, we're going to probably send out a shipment soon and might as well just add these to the stack. So um, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's get to the giveaway drawing so we can show you guys who won that 2024 Silver Eagle. All right, guys. So we are going to go to the previous video here, which is... Uh, the one up in Ohio, and I'm going to input that real quick. We're going to filter for duplicate users and uh, comments, and then we're going to choose one winner. We're going to do the quick little code here, and we have 181 comments. So we're going to scroll down, and we're going to pick our winner. All right, Mike O'Brien. So if you want to reach out to me about the giveaway, you can via our email, which is acushacollectibles at gmail.com or our Instagram, which is uh, acushacollectibles. We appreciate everybody who supports our videos and wants us to succeed. If you guys want to be entered in this video's giveaway, like we said, just uh, leave a comment on your thoughts about everything that's going on with us. And uh, if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video because we're coming out with videos every single week. We want you guys to be a part. But we'll see you guys in the next video.